let's take uh, a look at um, what we just heard in practice and walk through a small concrete deployment example of Speechly in a website. So here we have a simple vanilla web page that we are going to use to show you how Speechly can be deployed. You can see the page itself on the right and the HTML code for the page on the left. You can see the page has one drop down like we had on the Best Buy voice search demo we showed you earlier and a free form text field as in the checkout demo you saw. You can manipulate the input components by point and click and you can type in a text with your keyboard. However, voice is not supported. Let's fix that. The first step is to add the Speechly client to the page for audio capture and streaming connection to the Speechly backend. In order to do that, you'll need to add these snippets of code to the HTML header and body of the site. So making the additions to the HTML box on the left of the screen. As a result, uh, a microphone button appears on the site. However, it doesn't yet work as it's not connected to the Speechly backend. In order for you to make the connection, you need a valid application ID with a configuration matching your application. The configuration that we're going to use here is visible in the code box on this slide. For this, you need to go to the Speechly dashboard at speechly.com slash dashboard and create an application. Once you've created your application, you need to provide your example utterances or utterance to the configuration box and fill in the intents and the entities that corresponds to the taggings in your example utterance or utterances. So here the intent is fill and the entities are street address. That needs to be defined uh, as the street address type in order for you to get the correct type of formatting from the API. And then we have the shipping, which is of type string. Once you've done this, you can hit deploy in order for you to train your application. Once your application is deployed, you can try it out in the Speechly Playground. Expedited shipping to 345 North Harbor Drive. You can also look at the raw events emitted by the Speechly API through the developer console. Priority shipping to 900 Michigan Avenue. As you see, the API emits a continuous stream of structured data events. Once you're happy with the application, you can take the application ID and copy paste it to your front end code. The final step is to bind the stream of data events provided by the Speechly client to the UI components of the application. Again, the code that we are going to use is visible in the code box on this slide. Let's add the JavaScript snippet to the website application. In the code for each event emitted by the client, we iterate over each entity and assign the value of the entity to the UI component with the corresponding type or tag. Notice that the same code applies both for the dropdown and the text field components. Okay, the application is ready. Let's try it out. Expedited shipping to 345 North Harbor Drive. Priority shipping to 900 Michigan Avenue. All right. So that was it. So uh, to learn more, uh, please visit our docs at docs.speechly.com. You can also go to our website and book a meeting or send a message. We'd really like to hear more about what you're building and how we can help you at Speechly.
And you can also find us from Twitter uh, as uh, Speechly API and at LinkedIn as Speechly. By following us, you will be the first one to know what we're up to. Thank you.